Hello, this is Roxana with 160 Driving Academy and today we'll be doing pre-trip part C. The first thing you do is get the binder and give this to the examiner, okay? Then you walk down towards the trailer. You're gonna start off saying your coupling. Once you're done with your coupling, you go into your trailer. Trailer, head aboard. There's no missing rivets or damage. We'll support the cargo in case of a sudden stop or emergency. Clearance light. Have the mask secure, not crack bench or broken, amber in color, and working properly. Then you'll go down here. If you had a marker light, it would be here. Properly mounted secure, not crack bench or broken, amber in color, and working properly. Then you walk down a little bit. Then you talk about the frame, box, floor, and cross member. No missing rivets or damage, no missing damage cross members, and no holes on the floor. Okay, then you go up, talk about your reflective tape. Reflective tape, properly displayed, clean, and visible. Then you go into your landing gear. Landing gear is properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, no damage to the brace, and no missing parts. Dolly legs are in the fully raised position. Crank handle is properly secured in this secureness right here. Then you walk down a little bit, go down to your light, which is your reflector, marker light, turn signal, four-way flashers. Then you'll say properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, amber in color, and working properly. Then you would come down, and since this trailer is an air ride, you would say the air ride information. So the first thing you go is go down here, talk about your tandem release arm and locking pins. Not cracked, bent, or broken, and in the fully locked position. Then from there, you will go into your I-beam. I-beam, right in here. I-beam, properly mounted secure, and to the axle by welds or U-bolts, not cracked, broken, or illegal welds. Then from there, you come down in here in this section. You wanna sit in so that way you can actually see the um, other stuff in here. So from there, you go to the shocks. Properly mounted and secure by top and bottom bolts. Bushings are in top, intact, and it's not damaged or leaking. Then you go to behind the shocks to your airbag. Airbag support from top and bottom. No missing parts, not cracked, broken, or missing. Then you go to the airbags. Properly mounted and secured at the top and bottom, not damaged and leaking from the airbags or airlines. Then from there, you go to the brake, brake airlines, okay? Brake airlines. Properly mounted and secured to the brake chamber. And then you go back and say no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking. Then from there, you go to the brake chamber. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. The band or clamp is in place, and the brake chamber is not leaking. Then from there, you go to the slack adjuster. Slack adjuster is properly mounted and secured to the push rod with pins and keepers. With brakes released, slack adjuster travels no more than one inch. If so, have it adjusted before trip. Then from there, you would go into your brake linings or shoes, properly mounted secure with no loose or missing parts, not cracked, bent, or broken. Linings are not worn dangerously thin to a quarter inch. Then you move your ruler, then you come back, and then you point to the brake drum. Properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, free of oil, grease, and debris. Then from there, you go into your tire sidewalls, okay? Then you're gonna go to your tire sidewall inner, outer, inner, outer and come back to the very end and talk about make sure there's no uh, damage on both tires such as abrasion bulges or cuts then from there you go and flatten your ruler and talk about the tire face tire face is evenly worn with no damage both have a minimum thread depth of 232 both are properly inflated to the manufacturer specifications then you're going to your wheel spacing Tires are not rubbing or touching, and there's no debris wedge between the tires. From there, you will get out and go into the talk about the rims. The rims, you're gonna talk about inner and then outer rim are properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and no illegal welds. And then from there, you're gonna go for the lug nuts. Lug nuts, properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, none are missing. Look for signs of looseness such as rust trolls or shiny threads. Holes are not distorted or oblong. Then you go into your hub oil seal. 
hub oil seal. Your inner and outer hub oil seal are proper and secure and not leaking. Then from there, you're gonna go to your tire valve stem. Your inner and outer tire valve stem are proper and secure and not leaking and the caps are in place. Then from there, you're gonna say, I would inspect my fifth axle the same way I would inspect my fourth axle. Then you walk to your muff flap. Your muff flap, proper and secure, not dragging on the ground, no more than eight inches. And the tires are not rubbing and it's not damaged or missing. Then from there, you come to your ABS light. Your ABS light is properly mounted and secure, not crack bent or broken, and the lens are not crack bent or broken, and working properly and amber in color. Now you would say if, if it's not here. If it's there, you would say my ABS light. Then from there, you go to the red corner marker light. Properly mounted secure, lens are not crack bent or broken, red in color and working properly. Then you go behind the trailer. Then you look for your clearance lights. Your clearance lights are either on the bottom here or on the top up there, okay? So your clearance lights, properly mounted and secured. Now crack bins are broken, red in color and working properly. Door, the door, no damage, opens and closes properly. The door seal has no damage and intact, okay? Door seal. Then you go into the reflective tape. It's properly displayed, clean and visible. Then from there you go to the door latch. Door latch opens and closes properly from the outside with no damage or missing parts. Then you go to your lights, all right? Your two lights right here. It is tail light, brake light. Then you go here, tail light. Then turn, signals, and four-way flashers, right? Our proper amount of secure, lens are not cracked, bent or broken, all red in color and working properly. From there you go to your license plate light. Your license plate light illuminates the license plate with a clear or white and color light, okay? From there you would go into your DLT bumper. DLT bumper is properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent or broken. Reflective tape is properly displayed, clean and visible. Then you would come to the side of the passenger and say, I would inspect my passenger side the same way I did the driver's side of the trailer. Once you're done with that, you would ask him to help you with your light check. Then you go in the truck and then you do your in cap. And once you're done with your in cap, you say this completes my pre-trip inspection. Thank you guys.